Welcome back everyone, my name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Skyrim. Where we left off last time, we were headed out into the wilderness once again. We're going to go up towards Morthal, I think. Which I guess is more of a north direction, we should probably start heading in that direction. Oh, it's um, Lydia, I was like, what the hell is that stomping noise? We've discovered a small cottage in the woods. Drellis' cottage. Which has no door. Where's the door? Oh, I'm just blind. Alright, let's go take a look inside. Nope. I never should have come here. Getting that. Oh my god. What? Lydia, go take care of him for me. Never should have come here. That damage is insane. Okay, we should probably heal up. And we'll use some stamina potions because I actually don't want to die here. And if we can stagger him a couple times. We can probably kill him. Never trust them when they say they'll give up, either. They will definitely not. Also, what a bunch of worthless gear. Alright, so we killed someone else. Now we're gonna steal their magic potion. And their glow dust. This hardly counts as stealing, there's nobody left alive. had an apple pie. I mean, I feel kind of bad for attacking him. This was really his house, and we really had no business being here. But, I'm taking Meridia's beacon. A new hand touches the beacon. Listen, hear me and obey. A foul darkness has seeped into my temple. A darkness that you will destroy. Return my beacon to Mount Kilcreath. And I will make you the instrument of my cleansing light. Alright, so we have a quest. That was a Dietrich Lord. Or lady, I guess, is more accurate. Anyways, we killed a pretty high level wizard there. By hiding behind Lydia, our meat shield slash amazing tank. Now we are headed more north and less west. Our goal is to not run into a dragon. A dragon will ruin our day. Although Lydia might be able to take on a dragon if we are doing damage to it. That's a bad sound. So when I said I didn't want to run into a dragon, this is exactly what I meant. Where's Lydia? Why is she fighting the dragon? This is a terrible idea. Oh, I'm dead. There's no way I'm surviving this flame breath that's coming my way. I survived the flame breath. But I'm not going to survive that one. Alright. We need to go this way. We'll go further east and see if we can sneak around it. Yeah. Come on. Damn you, wall. 
We're so close. Screw it, we'll go around the rock. Although that might get us in combat. Alright, if we go straight east and then north more, we'll be okay. We just have to skirt around its area of effect attack. Hey, you can see solitude from there, from here. That's solitude right there, that city. Far in the distance. Eventually we'll go dragon slaying, but not quite yet. We're not at that part of the game yet. We need some fire resistance, we need some... What is that thing? That's a ram. What is down here? We're almost at Marherm. What the hell's the name of the town again? Morthal. I had a moment. There's no real need to attack any of the elk or deer in the game, unless you want some meat, I guess. For the moment, though, no real point. We are, however, almost at the town. And I may have to pause for just one second. I have a phone call coming in, and I don't recognize the number. I should probably answer it. Back in one sec. Alright, sorry about that. We are moving on. We are in Morthal, or very close to it anyways. You can see its little flag floating above its... What passes for a gatehouse in this world, I guess. That's a lot of guys. What's the Jarl going to do about it? How are we supposed to feel safe in our own homes? Please, enough already. I have told Igrid of your concerns. You are yeah. new to Mortho. We've not mission. spoken before. We have no this need for wizards in our Shut midst. Up, dude. Mortho has enough problems as it is. Ah, it's no use. Let's get back to it then. I'm the best warrior in Morthal, and that's no boast. The best warrior, huh? You want me to prove it? I bet a hundred gold I can take you, barehanded. Probably got better things to do. Milk drinker. We'll fight later. Alright then. Let's go see what the, uh... The Jarl has in store. Hi, Lydia. So... Life has brought you to Morthal, and to me. What purpose this serves, we will no doubt see. Welcome. Some kind of trouble here? That which is unknown can create unease, even fear. It is to be expected. Some fear our new resident wizard. As they grow to know him, they will accept him. Time will prove me right. Where do you stand on the war? I stand where I have always stood, here in Morthal. Now is not the time to fight amongst ourselves. I fear dark days approach, and all of Skyrim's strength will be needed. She's actually right. All right then. More right than any of the other people. I like how she has a mud crab wall. How are you feeling, Yara Lidgrid? The visions continue to hold me in balance, Gorm. So, the same then. Do not worry, my friend. All is well. I just lack an armory. Oh, this. Please don't mind Yorick. He's not mad. Really, he's not. What's wrong with Yorick? My brother is sensitive. He has trouble focusing his attention on things. We were taking him to the Temple of Kinnereth in Whiterun, just so the healers could make sure he was in good health. And they say he's fine. Okay. Hmm? Tamriel is full of wisdom. You will and not disrespect Jarl Idgrod while in this hall. You have their eyes do we open. have an understanding? Uh, why would I do that? It's no secret that Jarl Idgrod is different. 
It's also no secret that there are rumors about her and her visions. I won't repeat them, and I won't allow them to be spread under this roof. Now you go about your business. You're a very unpleasant person. Okay. The Greybeards have summoned... What could it mean? The return of the Dragonborn? And who among us could possibly hold that honor? And such power? It's me. I hear Nr... It is near Nrut. You can always hear them, they sound... Lovely, actually. Let's head into the inn. There's bound to be a couple quests around here. Kick off your boots, stay a while. Let me know if there's anything I can help you. Welcome to the Moor side. If you need anything, I'll be round. Good to have a customer. What's the story behind the burnt down house? Rogar's house? It burned down not too long ago. It's a real pity about his wife and kid. The screams woke half the town. Most folk won't go near it now for fear it's cursed. How'd the fire start? Rogar claims it was a hearth fire. Some folks say Rogar started it himself. With his own wife and child inside? That's what they say. Grim. See, he's living with Alva now. That started the day after the fire. It ain't right moving in with a new love the day after your kin die like that. Yeah, that's really messed up. And of course, they can't prove he murdered them. Aye. Our Jarl would sure like to know if he did, though. Might even pay to find out. Well, time Good to day. investigate a murder. Anyways, we're leaving. I was grooving out to the sound of the drums. Let's go investigate a murder. Step one. Go check the burnt out house. I just stepped in the mud. And by mud I mean... Sort of... It's more water than mud. Where'd the house go? Hi Lydia, we're going this way. We gotta find the burnt up house. It's harder to find with all the trees in the way. Although the town does look lovely, I do have to say. Uh, I think it's over here. You know what? Let's turn on that quest. It's something along these lines. Kill the bandit leader at the halted stream camp. I haven't done that yet. I haven't done the silver hand leader. Oh, we're supposed to go talk to the Jarl about this first. Okay. Let's go do that. Step one. Talk to Jarl. I'm just going to actually just track one quest at a time, because it's easier that way. Tamriel is full of wisdom and magic, if one is willing to look for it. Few have their eyes open. Here, you want someone to look into that house fire? Rogar's house fire? Well, he lost his wife and daughter in the blaze. My people believe it to be cursed now. Who am I to gainsay them? What does Rogar say happened? Rogar blames his wife for spilling bear fat in the fire. Many folk think he set the fire himself. Why would he do that to his own family? Lust can make a man do the unthinkable. The ashes were still warm when he pledged himself to Alpha. Why haven't you arrested him? On rumor and gossip? No. But you, a stranger, might find the truth for us. Sift through the ashes that others are too fearful to touch. See what they tell you. Should you prove him guilty or innocent, I will reward you. Alright. Progar's fate is in your hands. We're off. It's time to go. And... Visit the burnt down house. Oh yeah, it's behind the- yeah. Okay, I kind of remember where it is. It's like right by the Jarl's place. Hi, ghost. <laughs> Who are you? Helgi. The father says I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Are you a stranger? No, I'm a friend. Do you know what happened to your house? The smoke woke me up. I was hot and I was scared. So I hid. <coughs> then it got cold and dark. I'm not scared anymore. But I'm lonely. Will you play with me? If I do, will you tell me you set the fire? Okay, let's play hide and seek. You find me and I'll tell you. 
We have to wait for nighttime, though. The other one is playing, too, and she can't come out until then. What other one? What do you mean? I can't tell you. She might hear me. She's so close. That's not scary at all. If you can find me first, I can tell you. Uh, oh, I don't remember this quest very well. I do remember the burnt out house, but I don't remember the quest. That's nightish time. This quest is going to be painful in the dark. Although she might glow. That's nighttime ish. No ghosts around? Alright. So our quest right now is to find Helgi after dark. Do you like magic? Thalion says I'm good at learning. I like learning about magic. If I were a Helgi, where would I be? <coughs> hmm. No, uh -oh, suck. She behind the house, maybe? Hmm. It's an awful lot of people out here at nighttime. I have an idea. Is there a map? Nope. I think it's- if I vaguely remember- like I don't remember this quest very well, but I thought it was by the- Burnt down house. By the gods, it's true, isn't it? A Maybe it's past one. it. How could mere men bring I think I know place? where it might be. My mother and father way. died years ago. Valian takes care of me now. We just got our feet all wet. I think there's a grave I, somewhere I'm up here. I not talk. Try to keep to myself. Isn't there like a graveyard or something that we have to go visit? There it is. Never should have come here. Oh crap, it's a vampire. That's how you take care of vampires. Vampire armor is quite good actually. What am I carting around this wings so am I still carting around all that steel garbage I picked up earlier? Probably. I haven't, I haven't sold things for a while. You found me! Laylot was trying to find me too, but I'm glad you found me first. Laylot was told to burn mommy and me, but she didn't want to. She wanted to play with me forever and ever. She kissed me on the neck, and I got so cold that the fire didn't even hurt. Laylot thought she could take me and keep me, Layla. but she can't. I'm She's all burned dead. up. He's your spirit. She's, I'm tired. She's a I vampire. Sleep for a while now. She's dead. Laelette is dead. What can you tell me about your wife? Laelette. I thought she left to join the Stormcloaks. Oh, my poor Laelette. Did you notice anything strange before she left? She began to spend a lot of time with Alva. Yet just a week before. She despised her. In fact, the night she disappeared, she was supposed to meet Alva. Was she? Alva told me later that she never showed up. I never got to tell her goodbye. Or she's a vampire. I think they may have met after all. You think Alva? But that means... Ye gods, you think Alva is a vampire? 
It's a possibility we can't ignore. No, you're wrong. You must be wrong. Laedlet may have met her fate out in the marsh. I refuse to believe Alva had anything to do with this. There is no way you can prove it to the Jarl. I hope Alva is not what you think. Well, it's time to go to Alva's house and find out for ourselves. Oh, so Layla just got decapitated. That was an amazing hit. Also, I like how vampires have their own armor. Uh, Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something. In the old. This is not the right house. What, near Riften? Might consider joining up myself. I think it's this house. Yep, that's the right one. We are carting around a bunch of junk, though. Maybe we should wait till morning, sell some things. Then go in. This town has to have a blacksmith or something along those lines. This is sort of a blacksmith. It's a guardhouse. It's almost a blacksmith. Trouble? No trouble yet. Thank you, guard, sir. Valiant's house. Fiddling with any locks around here, we're going to have a real problem. It's a grindstone. Still not quite what I'm looking for here. If those white run guards can take down a dragon, so can we. I just need to sell some junk. Come on, store. Where are you? It's a cart. Okay, that's the inn. I guess it's a store, isn't it? Like a curio shop? The image is just hut. No one here's house. Well, I guess this is as close as we get to a shop. The Maturgist. The Maturgist? Oh, do come in. I hope I have what you need. If you need I any alchemy. Don't you do? So, you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Not really. I wanted to sell some stuff. We can sell this tusk, I guess. It weighs five pounds. Oh, man. We have so much. Oh, we bought that. That was the wrong thing to do. I never go to the right thing. Whoops. Ah, uh, well, what do we got? Cheese, we can sell cheese. There's not a lot we want to sell here, actually. I... We need a blacksmith store. This town even has one. That kid just exploded into existence. That's just a lumber mill. Screw it, let's just go kill the stupid vampire and we'll figure out our quick travel solution later. We can always just drop some fur armor. Here for work. Get an axe and bring me all the wood you can chop. Uh, okay, no one's caring for opening this door. Damn it. There's a book called Immortal Blood here. It's not super suspicious at all. The cellar's probably gonna have some weird vampy shit in it. Or it's a sex engine. No, she's definitely a vampire. I wonder if we're supposed to talk to her first. Okay, we should probably talk to her first.
I hear you put Laylette out of her misery. I did. Never should have come here. Oh, she is attacking us. Damn you. Fight Lydia. And we're just gonna casually beat her to death with our sword. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit you, Lydia. Are you prepared to die? Oh, she was invisible. Watch it. I was like, where'd she go? She must have vanished. Cool ability. But she was still there. My life is dreary. Where's my prince to come rescue me? Where's my bold Nord warrior to sweep me off my feet? I met a man today when I was picking night flowers. He's exciting and exotic. We kissed in the moonlight. It was so romantic. I'm going to see him again tonight. Now I understand the true colors of the night. Movarth has shown me the true black of the night and the true red of blood. He has promised me a feast of blood if I do his bidding in Morthal. Rogar was easy to seduce. Movarth said I should find a protector first, someone to watch over my coffin during the day. Rogar is perfect. Laylet came to visit me tonight. She slaked my thirst. I've hidden her away to let her rise as my handmaiden. I've spread the rumor in town that she left to join the war. Fools. Movarth has confided his grand plan to me. I'm to seduce the guardsmen one at a time and make them my slaves. Then he and the others from the coven can descend upon Morthal and take the entire town. We won't kill them. They'll become cattle for our thirst. An endless supply of blood and an entire town to protect us from the cursed sun. Hroth or Horgo's family is becoming inconvenient. I've told Lalette to kill them all. But make it look like an accident. Hrogar must be seen as innocent if he's going to be my protector. That little fool Lalette burned Hrogar's family alive. I asked for an accident, she gave me a scandal. To make matters worse, she tried to turn his little girl, Helgi. Except Lalette couldn't even get that right. She killed the child and left her body to burn. Something is wrong with Lalette. She keeps talking about Helgi. I think her mind has snapped. She seems to think the child can be brought back to be her companion. There's a stranger in town looking into the fire. I'll have to be careful. We are definitely going to have to turn that guy in. We'll probably have to level up our one-headed weapon skill if we're ever going to stay as a werewolf and or vampire later on. But we did find out what happened. And that was our goal. Is Hrogar innocent or not? Alva set the fire. She's the murderer. Alva? Huh. Didn't think she had it in her. Actually, she's a vampire. She planned to enslave the entire town. I assume you have proof? Can't go making accusations like that without proof. I have her journal. So it's true. The traitorous bitch. Martha owes you a debt. Here. You were promised a reward for solving the crime. But I need one more favor from you. Morthal is still in danger. The journal mentions Movarth, a master vampire I thought was destroyed a century ago. I'll gather together some able-bodied warriors to clean out Movarth's lair. They'll be waiting outside for you to lead them. Okay, I'm on my way. Until I guess we can do that. Time. By the way, town, do you have a blacksmith? Because you really need one. Whoa. Take us to Movarth's lair. Take yes. us! Yeah! You're different, aren't you? Not Build like anyone vampire. else. Not in Morthal or him. Skyrim. Destroy him. him! They're all gonna die, aren't they? My mother and father died years ago. Valian takes care of me now. Who is this town's blacksmith? How much inventory space do we have? We have enough for quick travel. We'll just hit White Run and then come back. 
and do the Master Vampire. Can't be that hard. That's not true. He could be very hard. I don't claim to be the hmm, blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Good, she has some money. I'm gonna sell you those and those and those and that. Keep that for now. Don't think we need that. Don't need that. We have an absolutely huge amount of arrows currently. There we go, our inventory weight is looking much better now. 180 out of 310. Good enough for me. Don't forget to check inside. So, Master Vampire to kill. We're not even level 13. This is going to be an interesting match, I think. Oh, it's so dark. Where's my torch? It doesn't even matter. It's too dark for a torch. To the be. Legion's always looking for strong, capable warriors. If you think I will be joining the Legion eventually. Our headquarters is Let's wait till morning. I'm so glad I got a protective case for my phone. That was absolutely me knocking my phone right off my desk. Because I am not smart, it would appear. My mother and father died years ago. Valian takes care of me now. I bet you all those people that we sent here died. Also, do I have Lydia? She's gonna have to tank the Master Vampire for us. While I beat on it with my sword, my garbage level sword, it needs, we need an upgrade. We need like an orc sword, or not even an orc sword anymore, but like dragon sword maybe, or I would take like an ebony sword, a glass sword maybe. Oh, they're all here, good. They're all still technically alive at the moment. Hey, look, a cave. wonder what's inside. You literally know it's the vampire. That's exactly why we're sent here. Oh, oh, come on. You jerk. Oh, I'm shooting the railing. Screw it, let's just go punch. No, these things have bad spot or poison, I think. Where's all my followers? You're right. Let's go. Lydia. Wait, where's Lydia? We're gonna die from the poison. Like, instant death from poison. I thought Lydia was going in there first. I was like, okay, cool. No problem. We can just casually go in afterwards and then take out the spider. I miss. It's because we're hitting the invisible railing. Oh, that one's a weak sweater. That one's dead. So it's just this one that sucks. 
and moves like crazy. I think it's AI is just giving up on life. Hey, if we get an archery skill, we get to level up at least. Lydia, don't stand in the way of my bow. We're now level 13. Lydia, move! Holy shit, Lydia, you are the worst person ever. Just like shoves me back into the way of the acid spit or web spit or whatever it is. So we got some of our arrows back. Not all of them, not even close, but some. That was a pretty good shot though, right? Down the hallway, take out the last spider. All right. I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, me too. What was that? It's just a thrall. <laughs> Thralls, not that tough. Is he just sitting at the table with a skull? That is simultaneously both the stupidest and coolest thing about a vampire. They're just. Corpses. Not corpses so much as skeletons in there. Well, seems like you have a bit of gold left in your pockets, don't you, my friend? Meet me someone there? Hello. Ow, I missed. Stabbed him right in the back, like a coward. We should really be a rogue type character. With all of our backstabbing. How are they planning on having a lifetime supply of people if they keep killing them? I'll take your tomato. Why do vampires have tomatoes? There's another good question. Alright, so anything else in this room? Doesn't look like it. We found their unmarked grave. How's our time doing? We're 31 minutes or a little bit more. That's the leader right there. One sec. All right, welcome back guys. So we can't beat the vampire just yet. The uh, townsfolk won't come in with us. They just leave whenever we try and ask them to. So they're not gonna be any help. Lydia can't tank multiple vampires. There's uh, two full-fledged vampires, one thrall, and of course the master. Sir! Ow! Lydia, go fight. Go tank for me. It's a Charis. I'm just gonna casually beat it to death. Come back. So we're heading towards Solitude now. That's our ultimate destination. It's just up ahead there. You can actually see it quite clearly now. We still have a bit of a walk. Solitude is a neat place. It is almost an actual castle. Like a well-defended actual castle. There's only one problem with it. 
Then I'll show you guys when we get closer. I should probably save in case there's a dragon or something around here. It's a camp. An abandoned camp. With nothing really of value. There's also a boat. Mud crab. Uh, Our heavy armor went up a level. We should probably level up. We do have an actual level. Uh, we'll go with stamina this time. We're basically just gonna mix up between stamina and um, health. Fists of Steel. Oh, we also have another perk skill. That I haven't used yet. Oh yeah, I was gonna level up my smithing skill so I can get to, uh... Dwarven stuff. I should wanna get to Dragon Smithing. But it, that's a long ways away. Dragon Smithing is... An intense process. To say the least. We're just gonna jump in the water, swim across the river. Can't remember if there's enemies in the water. Don't think that there are. Also, there's no way we'd be swimming with the amount of stuff we're carrying. We would sink like a rock. I don't care how good of a swimmer you are, there's no way. Carrying like 200 pounds of stuff and trying to swim, it'd be impossible. <laughs> It's not like armies marched across deep rivers in full armor. They built rafts or forded the river by like... stripping down their armor, putting it on a raft, and then just walking across without armor on, or swimming across without armor on, and then pulling their stuff with them on a raft. There's many, many stories from history of people dying by drowning in heavy armor in rivers. Because you can't swim with it on. Favor the bow, eh? I'm a sword man myself. I don't favor the bow. We found the stables, which is good. So we've officially arrived in the town of Solitude. We're also way over time, so we're gonna call the video here. In the next video, we're gonna go into Solitude itself. We'll go meet up with the Imperials, see if we can join their squad, and then go from there. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Others, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.